Okay, so I really also wanted to talk about this book. Um, so I was like, I'm just gonna discuss it. Uh, Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty, Australian author. Um, this book of this video obviously contains spoilers and also sensitive mentioning, so everyone is advised. So this book uh, is about many topics. It's about um, domestic violence, it's about uh, love, it's about friendship, it's about betrayal, it's about death, it's drama, it's thriller. I really like this book. Uh, and also obviously all the intention was even more drawn to this book when uh, adaptation was made by HBO with full of just uh, phenomenal actresses and actors and so this book follows the story of young mom Jane who uh, moves uh, in um, Pure uh, in Australia. The book is based uh, in Australia but uh, the show uh, and its uh, scenes were shot in Monterey, California uh, and I mean, as of course, because of the author I was born in Australia, the book she wrote was, uh, um, um, uh, it was inspired by Australia, but the puree, which uh, uh, is uh, the main um, uh, place where events take in the book, is fictional, it's not real. So, um, Jane, who um, is uh, one of the main characters of this book who moves into New City. Uh, she's a single mom and uh, of course uh, in the book you realize that um, you know everything is not what it seems. It, Jane has some really traumatic experience, experience in the past and uh, time by time you learn that she was a victim of uh, but you know uh, she's trying to overcome this because of her child uh, Ziggy who is five years old and uh, what makes the situation even worse for her is that uh, Ziggy is uh, the son of this abuser who she who she thinks she knows who is this uh, person uh, also, we have um, Madeline and Celeste, uh, two other women who live in Pure. And this whole dynamic of uh, those uh, women sticking together, I feel like it's pretty much just a really good example of friendship. Not only for like women, when I talk about book, and yes, it has, uh, for example, female characters or specifically male characters. I feel like those characters should not be inspiration for only specific gender. This book covers topics like uh, domestic violence against women and uh, um, issues of um, uh, relationship between daughter and uh, mother, uh, between son and father, uh, you know, son and mother, and you know, relationship between parents and children. I'm speaking a bit confusedly, but you know, but it can, it's like it can be inspiration and it can be, you know, it can be really uh, like it will make many people uh, felt respected and seen because of whatever they experience in their past, whether it's abuse, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, just problems uh, they have uh, been going through, not as. Um, um, like for example, problems with their parents, problems with their partners, uh, or abuse they have experienced in the past, or even in this specific moment, and I feel like uh, survivors of uh, rape, especially women, and also men, uh, would really felt like this book simply spoke to them in like completely completely different level 
and I'm not really, that's why Aurelian Moriarty, you know, wrote this book, and I felt like this, you know, when I was reading it, it also like um, I was also uh, realizing what the relationship of adults really looked like. That it was not perfect at all. They will, they were pretty much they had, they all have um, their little children in themselves. So they are fighting with them to become the best version of themselves. Some of them struggle. Some of them really fail. Like spoiler alert again, Perry. You know, I don't want to say the whole thing because I mean, of course, it's this concussion and it's spoiler itself, itself. But I also liked that book did not romanticize the Celeste and Perry's relationship at any level, and I'm really thankful for that because there was a potential for their for those um, for their little relationship to be glamorized or romanticized and it was not and I'm happy for it. Uh, it was opposite of it. You Celeste uh, realized this that their relationship is not healthy, it's toxic and you know the only escape she sees is to just get away with uh, her abusive parents and took the kids away. That's the only option she has. But of course, uh, she's struggling because it's really hard to be to to live this uh, like um, first of all to live this uh, mind state of uh, uh, abusive environment. It's really hard to get away with abusive because at least Celeste, Celeste really thought it was her fault when Perry was being abusive towards her. Maybe she said something she should not have said. But after all, you know, she realized that uh, Perry was an uh, abuser, not only physical, but also she was, uh, but also uh, a sexual abuser. And even though she has been through like, uh, a lot, also Jane, you know, they still had power to fight back and save themselves. Uh, I also like specifically those uh, the relationship between specifically those two women, Celeste and Jane, and also Madeline, who's I mean, uh, Reed Witherspoon, who played this character just amazingly in the show. I fell in love with her, and I love this actress, obviously. And uh, I felt like this book really spoke to many, many important um, levels of understanding of what adult's life looks like, really really ugly sides of it and really good sides of it also and I feel like many people uh, found uh, like uh, support and they found comfort in this book by all means by SA or just regular regular problems of relationships, for example, the jealous, je jealousy of Madeline towards Bonnie because uh, she thought that she was such superficial woman, and she was kind of jealous. But at this time, she knew that comparing herself to others would not make her happy at all. But she was still comparing herself to Bonnie, to her. Uh, ex-husband's new wife played by Zoe Kravitz I love her too <laughs> in uh, the series and yeah I feel like it's those characters have such uh, like relatable issues hardships and problems and traumas that readers can really do relate to them and they feel like uh, they feel so much respected and seen for what they are going through that it gives them support and hope. And I feel like this book definitely is one of the really, really good books I have read. And of course, HBO's adaptation of this book is all amazing because of uh, everything, because of, because of screenplay, because of the message it was sending to audiences. And I mean, obviously, 
actors and actresses who nailed everyone nailed their role it was amazing and um, yeah i feel like um, many books should be written about those topic and many books should be adapted about those topics it's important to talk about those issues and spread the right message uh, it was all for i want to say about this book big little lies the cover is a little different maybe it's in my country it's different um, but yeah this was all i wanted to say uh, thank you for watching goodbye